Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover naming equal parts. When it comes to fractions, a whole is divided into equal parts, and these equal parts have names. Knowing these names is important when it comes to working with fractions. We will cover two equal parts up to 10 equal parts in this video. Now keep in mind, do fractions stop at 10 equal parts? No, we can have 12 equal parts, 25 equal parts, 30 equal parts, whatever the case may be. But this is a nice place to start and build off of. Let's jump into our examples where we need to figure out the number of equal parts a whole has been divided into, and then we will match that to the name for those equal parts. For example, number one, this circle, our whole, has been divided into one, two, three equal parts. So three equal parts. We call three equal parts thirds. So let's put a B next to number one and cross off thirds. Now each of the equal parts is one third of the whole. So this is one third of the whole circle. This is one third of the whole circle. And this is one third of the whole circle. Let's move on to number two. This whole has been divided into one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts. So six equal parts. We call six equal parts sixths. So let's put an E next to number two and cross off sixths. Now each one of those equal parts is one sixth of the whole. Moving on to number three, we have a triangle, that's our whole, and it has been divided into one, two equal parts. Two equal parts, well, we call two equal parts halves. So let's put an A next to number three and cross off halves. Each one of those equal parts is one half of the whole. Next, number four, we have a square, that's our whole, and it has been divided into one, two, three, four, five equal parts. So five equal parts, we call five equal parts fifths. So let's put a D next to number four and cross off fifths. Now each one of those equal parts is one fifth of the whole square. Moving on to number five, this whole has been divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal parts. We call eight equal parts eighths. So let's put a G next to number five and cross off eighths. Each one of those equal parts is one eighth of the whole. Moving on to number six, this whole has been divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten equal parts. We call ten equal parts tenths. So let's put an I next to number six and cross off tenths. Each one of those equal parts is one tenth of the whole. Taking a look at number seven now, we have a circle, that's our whole, and this circle has been divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine equal parts. Nine equal parts we call ninths. So let's put an H next to number seven and cross off ninths. Each one of those equal parts is one ninth of the circle, the whole circle. Next, for number eight, we have a square here. That's our whole. And this square has been divided into one, two, three, four equal parts. Four equal parts we call 
fourths. So let's put a C next to number eight and cross off fourths. Each one of those equal parts is one fourth of the whole. And then lastly, number nine, we have a whole that has been divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven equal parts. We call seven equal parts sevenths. So let's put an F next to number nine and cross off sevenths. Each one of those equal parts is one seventh of the whole. So there you have it. There's naming equal parts. And we looked at two equal parts through 10 equal parts. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.